be short For goodness sake Don't need a reason To celebrate Sam and I have been, uh, have a six year age difference, so I think that puts me right at like the ideal weight and size to be picked on a bit. So we had a lot of good memories growing up. We'd play hide and seek on four wheelers, and I just said he wouldn't find me. Um, <laughs> we would always play hide and seek with the four wheelers with me and Nick, and we would actually never go and find Nick. It was kind of a our joke kind of thing, but uh, I never be allowed to play video games with him, and uh, he did. He actually duct taped me to the balcony once in our living room. But, but me and Sam played video games together. We had fun doing that. And me and Sam also taped Nick to the balcony. It was, it, was, it was really good times for the people who don't know. We've came a long way since then. I mean, he's honestly the best big brother I could ever ask for. He's always checking in on me and my fiance, Morgan. It's really comforting to see my brother this happy and just start his future with someone so great. When you're around these two, it's no secret they have so much love for each other. I've always admired Sam's perseverance, work ethic, and just how big of a heart he has. We reached our milestones, and we found our way. A new day, a new adventure. All I have to say is I'm glad Sam's pickup line landed you this amazing girl and didn't backfire a little bit. This pickup line I'm referring to was, quote, give me a text when you're free, maybe we can work out a deal on some tickets. As I remember Abby saying to me, post date, this guy is different and I'm in trouble in the best way possible. This chapter has ended, let a new one begin. I think back and smile. about you. I love her strong will and determination. And you have my permission to remind him of that. <laughs> she puts myself, family, and friends before her own needs. Sam, likewise, I asked Abby what she loves so much about you. I love his contagious smile. I love the way he goes out of his way to care for me and others. I love his dance moves. <laughs> and I love his love for me and our families. short for goodness sake don't need a reason to celebrate four and a half years apart and 27 and a half years of being sisters I could write a novel about our relationship and stand here for longer than I already am but let's just say this girl is the absolute best friend and sister no one more deserving of the happiness and love you found, your lobster. <laughs>
From this day forward, you have each other to lean on. We think that as long as our feelings run deep enough, then nothing can bother us. But that simply isn't true. Life is hard, and there will be times when your relationship is put to the test. Will difficulty break you apart, or will you allow it to bring you closer together? Our prayer is that it always brings you together. God must be at the very center of your union if it is ever going to be the relationship you both desire. Sam, you became my best friend so quickly after we met, and you've been that and so much more ever since. I remember sitting at our first date, <laughs> thinking, oh boy, am I in big trouble. And by that I mean the best trouble you can be in. I just knew you were different. You listened to me. You were a gentleman. You were truly one of my greatest blessings. And there isn't a day that goes by that you don't make me laugh or feel loved. They say you will know when you know. It turns out they were right. Marrying you has been by far the easiest decision I've ever made. When you focus on the things that you have more than the things that you don't have, you allow yourself to let gratitude sink in. And with gratitude, you experience joy. I've been fortunate enough to have this emotion since the day we have swiped right. <laughs> Abby, I promise to love you, to be your best friend, to never stop dating you, to be patient with you, and to support you with your dreams and goals. I vow to always be there for you, I vow to always date you, and never take you for granted. Long story short, you're simply the best. I love you. By the authority given to me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together. <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, Tiger. Okay. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Sam, you may now kiss your bride. Here's to all the late night drunk phone calls that you picked up Here's to all the bad decisions that you didn't judge All the love yous and the hate yous and the secrets that you told me Here's to everyone but mostly us There's a couple billion people in the world And a million other places we could be But you're here with me Take a moment just to take it in Every high and every low led to this I'm just so glad you exist Hey look what I had love from a stranger turned into Caught up in a moment like it's just us in this room All the right words at the right time And you know them cause you know me Better than anyone else we don't need anyone else There's a couple billion people in the world yeah. And a million other places we could be But you're here with me Take a moment just to take it in yeah. Cause every high and every low Don't you ever go, don't you ever go, don't you ever go changing Never let me go, never let me go, never let me go, baby Don't you ever go, don't you ever go, don't you ever go changing 
from Christ rule in your hearts. Father God, we come to you with gratitude and thankfulness. We thank you for blessing Abby and Samuel's union. We pray that you will guide and direct their lives together so that everyone clearly sees in them your love and goodness. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for his food. Amen. So after three and a half years, Samuel, you have convinced us that you were not in it for basketball tickets. <laughs> Here are two front row tickets to Happily Ever After. <laughs> so officially welcome to our family, Sam. We love you both and your love for each other and you're the perfect match and I wish you nothing but the best and pure happiness. Love you all. Cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Fuchs. Abby, we want to, I can't thank you enough for being with Sam. You know, we don't pay you enough for being with him. We, no, we really don't, though. We, but we can raise our glass uh, with our toast for this couple with a lifetime of joy and happiness. I love these guys. Thank you, guys. I love these people. Thank you. Let's have a good night tonight. I've never seen my brother so happy, and our relationship has never been better. And I know Abby being such a, such a great, bright light in his life is definitely a main reason for that. I know Abby will be the best sister I've never had, and I'm excited that our family gets to claim such a strong, independent woman. Let's all raise a glass in which these two a lifetime of everlasting happiness and memories. Yeah. 